In London, a lonely screenwriter named Adam encounters his tipsy neighbor, Harry, who shows interest but is turned down. Adam revisits his old home where his parents passed away in a car accident when he was 12. Back at his place, Adam reciprocates Harry's advances and they become intimate. Adam then shares with his mom that he is gay, receiving acceptance but also concern. Another encounter with Harry leads to a conversation about Harry's strained relationship with his family. During a visit with his father, Adam experiences acceptance and a tearful reconciliation over childhood bullying. Adam and Harry go out, experiment with substances, and Adam envisions a future with Harry. However, he wakes up at his parents' house on Christmas, troubled. Unable to sleep, Adam confides in his parents about being sent to stay with his grandmother after their deaths, but their moment is interrupted by Harry. On a train journey, Adam pursues Harry, witnessing unsettling visions. He wakes up at home, realizing Harry took care of him after a drug-induced panic. Adam opens up about his parents' deaths and his fear of being alone. He decides to show Harry his parents, but the house is empty, though Harry catches a glimpse as Adam breaks a window to end. The next morning, Adam wakes up unharmed, and his parents explain that Harry has left. They encourage him to let go and find happiness. A visit to Adam's favorite childhood restaurant ends with his parents expressing pride and love before vanishing. Having come to terms with his parents' passing, Adam finds Harry dead in his flat, holding an empty bottle from the night they met. Comforting Harry's ghost, Adam takes him home, where they share a bed. When Harry asks for a song, Adam plays The Power of Love by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Towards the end of All of Us Strangers, Adam returns to his apartment after his final encounter with the ghosts of his parents. He goes to Harry's apartment for the first time and is hit by a strong smell of decay. Harry's ghost appears, holding an empty whiskey bottle from the night they first met. It seems likely that, feeling rejected by Adam, Harry went back home, finished the whiskey, took ketamine. Adam finds a baggie, and sadly passed away due to a drug and alcohol overdose. This adds a poignant layer to Adam's experience, as he not only reunited with the ghosts of his parents, but also had a romantic relationship with Harry. Adam can only open up to Harry and start their relationship after confronting his past and meeting his parents' ghosts. After coming out to his mom in Croydon, he has a second intimate moment with Harry, who encourages him to take a bath. Adam begins feeling unwell after his mom mentions AIDS, and in the bath, he shares that he had been too afraid of the disease to have sex for years. To overcome this fear and find love, Adam must let go of his dread of contracting HIV. In a pivotal scene shot in the Royal Vauxhall Tavern in London, Adam envisions a future with Harry during a ketamine trip, set to Blur's death of a party from 1997. However, the imagined relationship doesn't last, and Adam wakes up screaming as Harry moves on in the club. All of us strangers enfolds in a sparsely populated world, symbolizing Adam's isolation. Adam and Harry seem to be the only residents in their tower block, and Adam and his parents are the sole patrons in the diner for their last encounter, an outing Adam never got to experience as a child. The waitress, seemingly unable to see Adam's parents, questions whether he can finish the family meal he ordered. During a poignant moment, Adam's dad expresses pride in him for surviving, acknowledging the difficulties he faced despite not having a traditional family or successful career. In the last scene, Adam and Harry cuddle on a bed, and The Power of Love by Frankie Goes to Hollywood, a song from 1984, plays. This song connects to the beginning of the film when Adam was watching it on top of the pops. As the camera zooms out, Adam and Harry become a part of a constellation of stars, suggesting they are among the lonely strangers referenced in the film's title. The ending raises questions about whether Adam is also dead, but it seems the message is that love is powerful enough to transcend a boundary between life and death. It serves as our defense against the infinite darkness, a lesson Adam learns after a lifetime of avoiding his need for human connection. The closing image may evoke a tear, emphasizing the bittersweet beauty of love in the face of life's challenge.